morning, Darcy. Morning. Darcy, I want to thank you for taking the time to uh, to speak to us today. And why don't you tell us a bit about your family and your the history of your farm? In the family over a century, um, in farming with my dad, my mom, my brother, uh, my wife, and I guess we got three kids as well. And a farm in the Kyle area. Been using Morris equipment for as long as I can remember. So we farm with canola, lentils, durum, spring wheat, barley, peas. Kind of try and keep a fairly diversified rotation. You farm in an area that's got some interesting uh, conditions. We've had extremely dry, and then we've had sloughs and soft spots even that have been carried over from 16 that we're still dealing with. You were given a really neat opportunity with us to to test one of our first releases uh, before the product was launched. We love working with growers like you that that are able to test things and work through the challenges with us. You've got a 70-foot quantum with a sectional control air cart, and you increased your acres, and at the same time, you were dealing with all these tough conditions we talked about. So maybe just go through your experience a little bit and how that all went. So when it came to having the chance, I guess, to use the new Quantum, there's a lot of really neat updates or upgrades where, for our area, you got the high flow package for the soft spots. When we do get them with our soil type, uh, Dad actually was on the, on the drill most of the time and uh, could see, I guess, what has changed and what has evolved and kind of the added benefits. Like you say, uh, we had the C2 and the Quantum in the same field. Uh, my brother was in the C2 and he was, or I guess dad was going through this slough at the end of the field and just kind of driving through it and keeping seeding through it. How much product do you put down at times, Darcy? Because you guys are putting some serious fertilizer down at 450 ish in spots, depending on what's going and stuff. Uh, we do some variable reading as well. So, but yeah, some of the heavier distribution areas, I guess, yeah, like you say, it's we're upwards of 450 plus sometimes. We purchased our first sectional unit for the 15 growing season. We've noticed a drastic difference as far as input costs. Definitely a really good payback when you're talking a mile, mile and a half long field. If you're seeding, like I say, on a mile field and you seed another five, six acres, well, that's a lot of money. In my opinion, it, it easily pays for itself. And between year one, year two kind of idea, and then everything else is just gravy on top. So it's definitely it's definitely something that I don't think we'll ever go away from, that's for sure. In those overlap areas, I have a tendency sometimes to maybe look greener, but it uh, definitely is uh, probably a cost that you might as well keep in your pocket. One of the things that we heard when we went through the development of the quantum was, you know, it's great when you spend a lot of money on one of these high-tech implements, but air, air seeders have become very complicated, very customized, and uh, you know we're just we're finding that the dealers are really struggling with the trade-ins. Any used drill, I think there is some skepticism as far as trade-in value with any dealer. I don't know if it really matters whether it be any brand or not, um, but. Going forward, in my in my belief, I mean, you look at the way the quantum is and all the added benefits that are there. You look at the high flow. You look at everything else. The beefiness of the frame and the way it's constructed, it should have resale value, no problem. It's the life expectancy. I mean, it should be used for years and years and years down the road. So, Darcy, uh, I want to ask you a little bit about your experience working with Morris. How do you feel that that you know working with a company? based here in Western Canada and having a chance to be part of the development of a new product, do you think that helps uh, maintain our our Western Canadian advantages in agriculture? All of us have been really happy with the way that the Morris equipment's treated us over the past number of years. Consistency in in the operation of it is, has been really well, really good and uh, beneficial for us, that's for sure. It's, it's very exciting, I guess, to have an opportunity to kind of see things before before they hit the market and kind of see where things are going. We really appreciate customers and growers like yourself that are always willing to participate in the development of a new product because we we believe we have to involve our customers right at the grassroots level 
to get the input, the suggestions, and all the feedback, and that makes the product better than if we try to develop a product in secret. So I just want to personally thank you, and of course, we're really excited to work with you again with a, uh, a new Quantum that you've purchased this year.